Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. I'm Course Hickory, the drunk and underwhelming, everybody's favorite drunk magician. And welcome back to Hickory Reacts. And today on the channel, Tom McDonald's got a new one out. It's called The Machine. So it's probably going to lean into politics pretty hard. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, here we go. Let's check it out. This is <clears throat> The Machine by Tom McDonald. I am not Republican. I am not a liberal. Why the hell can I just be American without getting political? The system yeah. gonna suppress us Call all. Back. They don't care about the cost. How's this a democracy when we got communists in charge? I mean, he's got... <laughs> he, he's still... He's got points, even though he's... It's it's a little... <clears throat> a little on the nose and a bit much at this point. He could definitely scale back the... Uh, in the political chat, but I also understand his position and why he's going for it. Cancel culture Nazis, all they're missing is the swastikas. Honestly, this is a psychological holocaust. Pumping propaganda through the screen and straight into your brain. You ain't on the plantation, but you definitely still a slave. Race theory is indoctrinated. Yeah, he's got a great point there about people being owned. We're just like, we are so close to CBDC and just having zero financial freedom. It's, it's. It's fascinating. We live in interesting times. Slave, race theory is indoctrinating children. Tell blacks yeah. they're disadvantaged, tell whites they got white privilege. What a brilliant way to reinforce division. If whites believe they have it easy, they will never help you fight the system. Yeah, yeah. Uh, more, more division shit really is the whole, the whole, the whole thing. It's just a, <laughs> just a dividing mechanism. So, you know, nobody actually overthrows the fucking uniparty that's been running this country. And now they burn in books in untraditional ways that has traded newspapers for the digital age. Now oh, he's got a good point there about like the deleting of uh, and they just go in and stealth edit articles and don't issue a correction on stuff. They just change them afterwards. Fascinating. Or you can find contradicting articles from the same news site where they never went back and corrected the shit that was proven wrong. Now the facts can be deleted with no physical flames that has changed the information and the truth gets erased. Yeah. Okay. Basically what I was saying. Yeah, saw where that one was going. Chorus. They keep screaming to wake up, but they're all woke, not awake. We know the system has failed us, and now the media's fake. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's it, it gets worse all the time, too. And the people still defend our mainstream media in this country is mind-boggling. It is legitimately propaganda. Swear the government hates us, have been a big... Yeah, having opinions is dangerous. Wasn't that the article? Like, or I, I forget. One of the mainstream news outlets basically said uh, it's dangerous if you go do your own research. Just, just trust what we have to say because we've never selectively edited anything ever to make someone look bad. We've never, we've never run a fucking hoax for three years like RussiaGate. I am not Republican. I am not a liberal. Progressive and traditional are hitmen hired to kill the individual. They label yeah. people red or blue, divide us. They don't ever help. They want you thinking left or right, so you ain't thinking for yourself. Go ahead. Yeah, that's uh, that's very much true. He's on point here. Thinking for yourself. Go ahead and vote, because both the parties are the same side. Two teams, yep. one coach, controlled by the same guys. Left yep. wing, right wing, both help the same bird fly. Brainwashing everybody at the same time. The yep, that's, uh, he's not wrong. It is one uniparty. Uh, that runs it and there's like five or ten outsiders and you notice that the media shits on the same five to ten people all the time even when they have good ideas like single issue bills going through congress as opposed to you know giant massive tying border policy to ukraine and israel and instead the people that are like no we should have single issue bills that we vote on they're like no we don't want to do that because then when you didn't vote for the shit that we wanted we can just say that you oppose the border and now it's the republicans fault or whatever the case may be because it's it's definitely <laughs> uh that's uh that one has a definite cause and uh and does not need any additional bills passed to fix it it's just that uh it's part of the plan the people that are in charge do not want it fixed they want to import more people same time, the internet was once a place that we could get our facts from. Now it's been monopolized. It's Google or it's Amazon. Who fact check? Yeah, yeah, and uh, and it's slowly coming out how uh, how owned those companies are. Just look at Google AI. It was it wouldn't even create white people. <laughs> Google or it's Amazon. Who fact checking the fact checkers? I can answer that one. The people who control the narratives through the platforms. Let me break this down for. Well, I mean, it's 
ultimately, Tom, you're close, but it's the CIA because, or or the deep state because they basically have back doors through all the platforms. Let me break this. That, th that's why they hate Elon Musk owning Twitter because he got rid of just a smidgen of that shit, and it's totally uh, messed up their ability to uh, to astroturf stuff on the platform. Let me break this down for you, simple as I can, Kate. They use social conditioning to put you in the rat race. It doesn't matter if you're first or third or if you're last place, you're still a rat, and they're the cats who kill you so you can't escape. Oh, okay. That was solid. Yeah, just a couple solid bars there. I like they that. keep screaming to wake up, but they're all woke, not away. We know the system has failed us, and now the media is fake. I swear the government hates us. I, I honestly do think most of the government hates you as if you're a normie, if you're not a special interest. Just having opinions is dangerous. The system built to enslave us only works if we're afraid. Yeah, and it uh, it doesn't do well with people standing up to it. It's why they have to call uh, regular Americans that go to school board meeting domestic terrorists and shit. I am not Republican. I am not a liberal. I am just a man who knows they're scared of a nation that's thinking critical. They kill us or they lock us up for nothing like we're criminals. Divide us because they know that unified we are invincible. Quest yeah, yeah. It's, uh, you know, if we were all on the same page as citizens, it would be... We'd be in a whole different camp right now, my friends. But instead, no, nope, it's... uh. Uh, look at what this guy said. He's bad. We're invincible. Questioning the government's agenda is controversial, but promoting guns and liquor in our music is commercial. They're confusing. <laughs> oh, that's a good point, actually. Although uh, I do have to <laughs> do have to push back because Tom's definitely done some uh, done some gun glorification lines. That being said, I don't care. Uh, I think we should be exporting uh, uh, weapons to every citizen of every country and that's how we would truly win back our uh and not not get shoved into globalism but i don't know what do i know i'm just a drunk magician don't take anything i have to say seriously and our music is commercial they're confusing us with pronouns they made up to make us triggered you can call me what you want but just don't call me late for dinner school teaches you to learn and never <laughs> call me what you want just don't call me late for dinner classic tom that's a throwback to my youth Learn and never teaches you to think so you absorb misinformation then you practice what they preach you ain't free can't you see that's how they want you to act that's cocaine yeah i mean they've been teaching kids what to think and not how to think for a long time and now we're in a spot where everybody just believes the bullshit they've been told and uh have no idea what's like what what is actually going on how they want you to act that's called conforming to the norm you don't need freedom for that i'm not republican or liberal or left wing or right leaning i took the red pills because that's who's fighting for my freedoms and you don't yeah, he's got a point there. Because that's who's fighting for my freedoms, and you don't need to choose to be accepted. They both fake teams. Evil runs the world now like hell ain't got no vacancy. Yeah, they're both fake teams. What was it? Hell runs the world? Evil runs the world now like hell ain't got no vacancy. Accepted. They both fake teams. Evil runs the world now like hell. Oh, evil runs the world now like, uh, like that. Hell ain't got no vacancy. They keep screaming to wake up, but they're okay. all woke now. I, I will say it's it's <clears throat> it's on the borderline of failure for sure, especially when you see all the shit going on and how bad this country is doing and how we're just exporting a bunch of funding to other places that we shouldn't care about. Yeah. Where the government hates us, having opinions is dangerous. The system built to enslave us only works if we're afraid. Not not to mention sending a bunch of money to people that don't belong here. Okay, not bad. Not not my favorite Tom song f at all, but definitely like solid. Uh, uh, delivery was good. Beat was really really good. I like the production on this one. Um, but yeah, just a little heavy handed and very like going back to what made Tom blow up controversial as being like the conservative rapper, even though he's not necessarily that conservative. <laughs> Uh, who knows he did rap with ben shapiro maybe ben changed his mind even though <laughs> i don't know i'm just a drunk magician who gives a shit if you want to see a drunk magician re react to things he has no business reacting to down there in the comment sections where you should be leaving that if you like the video please like share subscribe comment uh and if you really really want to support you could grab buy some merch uh join the channel 
Follow me over at Rumble or Gab as that's where the lifeboats are. Go check out my boy MC Molasses. He's got a single coming out this week. And so does Uncle Dad and the Family Secret. So let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We have lots going on. And I will see you in the next one. Until then, Drunk Magician out. Cheers. <laughs>